welcome back to another video from Mendip Cycling. And no, your eyes do not deceive you. I have decided to make a vlog during lockdown. Darren's asked me enough times now that if it was about time I made another video. Today I'm going on a 48k ride up onto the Quantox and I'm going somewhere pretty special. I've been there before, but I thought I'd take you guys along today. I've got what I like to call my adventure bike with me um, and I'll explain that later because I'm going to need it up near the top. Okay, let's go. Cars on the motorway. The only potential sticking point with today's ride is that I've got to go through Bridgewater twice, but due to COVID 19 and it being 9 30 on a Sunday morning, it really shouldn't be too bad. But on any other Sunday or day in the week, it might be a little bit more busy with traffic. But fingers crossed it's okay. Let's get the mountain biker. by a couple of those GoPro clips, there's no traffic. Just one motorbike, that's it dreamy, look at this. There's nobody here. Normally I'm over on the bike plane on the left hand side, but there really is absolutely no need. How cool is this, just coming up past the pub in Wembley. I've made my way through Bridgewater, I've made my way through Wemden. It's now time to start climbing up onto the Quantox. Fair play to the woman that's running back there. I'm out of breath cycling up this hill as it is, let alone running. Ooh. I'm just making my way through Spaxton now. And one thing that's come out of lockdown is that people have a little bit more time on their hands to do the jobs that they perhaps put on the back burner. So you had a gentleman back there cleaning his uh, drain pipes. You had a lady painting a fence. It's all go here. I've just pulled into Hawk Ridge Reservoir. And some of you may know that it's owned by Wessex Water and you can't walk around it, you can't go in it, can't bring the dogs here. Um, it's protected unfortunately, but it's absolutely beautiful. It's not a bad photo that is it. Now that I've reached the reservoir, the plan is to carry on and head up Cockacoom Road, which is a dead end road and leads us to Triscombe Stone, which is the first major destination on today's route. And now this is where we hit the, the major climbs on today's route. It's gone pretty steep already. <coughs> you just wanted to fly. <coughs> Triscombe Stone is off to the right and we're going up here. I spoke to my dad about where I wanted to come today and he said instead of following the road there is a pathway through the trees which leads to the same point up to Triscombe Stone. So this is it, this is the start of it. I'm going to sneak through the gate there on the left um, and head up on the trail. Mountain bike territory. Got some mountain bikers up to the right. Mountain biker ahead of me. They've definitely got the gears for this, I haven't. I was gaining on the mountain biker in front, but I don't think he wants to be caught by a roadie. So he's uh, he's fed up a little bit. I say roadie. A roadie trying his hand at some gravel. Again, somewhere near the top. 
top now. Perfect day for it. Back onto the road. And that is Triscum Stone. One of the things we come to see today. A little bit of history for you about the stone. Um, it dates back to the Bronze Age. Modern superstitions about the stone. If you go and sit on it, you'll be granted a wish. Now that we've ticked off Triscum Stone off the list, we're going to head further on up the road now to Will's Neck, which is the highest point on the Quantox, and there's a trig point up on the top. Will's Neck, 384 metres above sea level, the highest point on the Quantox, and spectacular 360 degree views. Beautiful day for it, making the most of the sunshine before the rain comes this week. Uh, we've got Hink Hinkley Point down there, back towards Bridgewater, Mendip's really far in the distance over there, and you've got Exmoor down into Devon over there. So this is the old road here. It's called the Old Drover's Road. And if my knowledge serves me correctly, it connects Watchit in that direction and Lyme Regis all the way, miles away in that direction. So I've done all the ascending. Now it's time to descend. I'm gonna follow this track down here. Eventually it joins a road and I'll come to the Pines Cafe. <laughs> There's just endless trails up here. Found myself on this gorgeous little trail with views over Exmoor National Park. At Mendip at the moment, we seem to have a bit of a fascination with taking photos by gates. That's not bad, is it? I thought it was a good time to talk about my bike. So this is my touring bike. Um, it's got front mounts here and rear mounts for panniers and I've converted it by putting on these 35mm gravel tyres. It's got three chain rings on the front, a 28, a 38 and a 48. And on the back we've got an 1132 8-speed cassette um, and it's one of the comfiest bikes I've ever ridden. these 35mm gravel tyres because you don't feel any of the bumps in the road. It's ultra smooth, slightly slower, but it's just so, so smooth. Just rolling into the outskirts of Bridgewater now. Made my way back through town, then back into Cossington. Not far to go now, about 9k. So we're nearly home. over 46k 
So I've got less than 2K now until I get back home. I just wanted to say thank you for watching today's video. And if you enjoyed it, please do give it a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. And leave a comment, because Darren does love the comments. And we'll see you again soon. Thanks.